am cold, hungry, and I need coffee. coffee. I'm putting that in the video. <laughs> it's gonna take like a little bit. I don't know, man. We're taking the amount of time you said it would. Dude. <laughs> I can't believe how long this is taking. Is it not on? Fuck. I'll figure it out. Woo! Did I really just... Dude, I'm burning the... F oh, fuck. Yo, 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 yo. Oh my god, did I... Holy crap. Did I really just do that? Did I really just do that? <sighs> All right, this is like my 10th take of doing this. Welcome to the coffee fetish, where I make coffee in random locations all around the world. Today, we're at the Garden of Eden in Santa Cruz, California. I'm gonna be reviewing a dark roast of Verve coffee. It's, it's, uh, it's called Buena Vista with, we got, we got notes of s'mores. I mean, I'm just gonna to point to this camera. We got s'mores, dark chocolate, and, and it says here caramelized. So yeah, my, my camera guy is giving me a thumbs up because I finally fucking did it, man. After 10 takes, yo, give me a high five. Give me a high five. I've, give me, no, 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 I'm saying give me a high five like from there. There we go. All right, so we're gonna be reviewing Verve Coffee, their Buena Vista blend. It's a dark roast. Uh, it has s'mores, has notes of s'mores, dark chocolate, and it's a bit caramelized. So I actually love dark roast coffee, so I'm really excited to try this out. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we're gonna measure out 18 grams of coffee. It's my first time recording this, so I'm still getting the ropes. Cause I, I do this all the time in my house, and I know how it works, but when I'm on camera, it just, it makes it that much harder, you know? You know what I mean? Anyways. Like a sign, I know. Huh? Like a sign? I know. A sign? A site? A site? Yeah. Pornhub. Yeah. Pornhub.com. All right. Okay, we're gonna measure out 18 grams of coffee here. Well, let's not forget to appreciate the beautiful railroad and beautiful water we have here. This is a beautiful Saturday morning. We have, I think it's like around 11 a.m. Saturday morning here at the Garden of Eden. And now we're just gonna make our motions through. We're just gonna blend the beans, get a nice cup of coffee going. Doing a nice medium fine grind here for this cup of coffee. It's a dark roast, so usually you like to stick to more medium fine. There's people everywhere just staring at me like, who is this crazy guy just making coffee in the middle of a river, just standing here? Who would, who would take the time out of their day to do some shit like this? Like, I must be out of my mind, you know? We woke up at, Seven in the, I woke up at seven in the morning to be here. And it's, it's now 11. It took us about an hour and a half to set up this table and all this all these shenanigans. I had to bring all this stuff across this river. I had to walk barefoot. We were here before any of these people were here to set this show up. Anyways. All right, so that's a beautiful 18 grams of coffee. Now what we're gonna do, where's my AeroPress? Where's my AeroPress? Can you give me my AeroPress? Just like throw it to me. Dude, how did I manage to like leave it there? Bro, it's it's behind the bag. I dump the grounds and I just, just throw it, throw it. Throw it. All right. That would be a cool like little cut right there. Just you throwing me an AeroPress. <laughs> All right. We're gonna dump 18 grams of coffee into this. Level it out a little bit. All right. I'm gonna put that on the scale. Zero that out. Now we're gonna measure out 200 grams of, 200 grams of water. People are just taking photos of me. There's people all around me just taking photos of this crazy guy. Like, like there's people right there taking photos of me. I must be insane. I probably am insane for doing this. What is that? What? what is that? It's, a, it's called a slurry. So I'm, I'm putting water in, I'm mixing water with ground coffee. And it's called a slurry because it's the combination of water with coffee. So we're gonna put a little bit more in there. We're at 176, let's get her to 200. Let's get her to 200. All right, we're at 200 now. Stir the slurry a little bit. Now we're gonna wait for like a minute. Alex, why don't you get in here? Let's tell let's tell the audience a little story about let's tell the audience a story about how how I got into this. Oh, Aeropresses? an AeroPress? Yeah, yeah, I have one of my uh, Amazon shopping list too. You have an AeroPress on your shopping list? Why have you not bought it yet? What are you doing, bro? Ask my paychecks. Ask your paychecks. <laughs> just put it on there. And now we just press. Now we just press and wait. How's your day going? It's pretty good. It's 
Pretty good. It was good? Yeah. So I actually made him a cup of coffee like 10 minutes before I made this one, just to kind of test it out. Wired. You're wired? This is gonna make me wired. I'm already wired, because I'm on lack of sleep. I slept like four hours before this show today. So I'm already like on lack of sleep, but like, you know, now I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. And I'm gonna be like extra wired, so this is gonna be interesting. Let's let's see how this tastes though. This is so this this says here it's got notes of s'mores and dark chocolate. And apparently it's got a, like a more of a caramelized feel to it. So I'm I'm gonna give this a taste and we're gonna see what this tastes like. So first of all, it smells just like any cup of coffee. It smells manly. It smells like I don't know how to describe it. It smells like a fine, a nice fine aged wine. It, it smells very manly. It smells like I'm out in the woods. It, it feels like, it almost feels like I'm at the Garden of Eden sitting at a table in the middle of a river about to drink a cup of coffee. Like that's what it feels like, you know? But all right, let's give it a taste. Let's give it a taste. <sighs> Whoa, that's interesting. That definitely tastes a lot different than other verve. I've tried a lot of verve coffee blends and this one tastes a lot different. This one has a very like full body taste to it. Let me give it another go. So I definitely taste the caramelized, the caramelized aspect of it. I feel like the beans can kind of have like a caramelized feel to it. Um, I don't really taste too much chocolate though. Obviously there isn't added chocolate in this drink, but like I'm trying to see if I can, you know, just feel the, feel the, the chocolate. But actually, you know what? Does it say dark chocolate? Yeah. I can see how this could be dark chocolate. Cause like dark chocolate's got that bitterness to it. That's not really sweet. You know, it's got like that kind of gnarly bitterness to it. And I can, I can kind of taste that. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I do taste kind of like a naturally dark chocolates like note. There's something there. The s'mores, I don't taste that. I think, I think they just threw that in there just to kind of like say, Hey, you should buy this cause it tastes like s'mores just for advertising, you know, just for marketing. I, th I think they put s'mores in there just kind of to get people to buy this. But when, when, it, when I do think about caramelized dark chocolate, I definitely do feel that. The beans are really like very, very high roasted, very, um, very full body cup of coffee. This feels like a manly cup of coffee. You know, there's no earthy taste to it. It's very roasted. It's very, it's very nice and flavorful the way I like it. I like dark roast because there's just so much essence to it. I was at the store and I was deciding which blend should I buy? Should I get, I was gonna, I was gonna pick a Verve coffee and I just didn't know like, I've tried a lot of their coffee, but I was like, which one have I not tried? And this one just kind of stood out to me because they are. Yeah. So this company is actually, so Verve Coffee is actually based in Santa Cruz and we're in Santa Cruz right now, enjoying the nature and drinking Santa Cruz coffee. So, so cheers to Santa Cruz, cheers to Verve Coffee. You guys make a great cup of coffee. I think for a rating, let me think about it. I'm going to take a few more sips and then give you, give you a rating. It's a damn good cup of coffee. And what's really nice is that I'm out in nature just drink. It, it feels so much better to be out in nature drinking a cup of joe than it is to be like waking up, feeling like absolute shit in the morning and making your coffee in your kitchen. It feels amazing to come out here, wake up in the morning, come out to nature, set up a table and make a cup of coffee. It just feels so, it feels so natural. It feels like there's something you should do, you know? I'm gonna give this a 9.2, you know? It's a, it's a pretty high rating, 9.2. The reason why I'm giving it a 9.2 is because you know, I, I didn't like that they had s'mores on the package, but there's there isn't really a s'mores essence to it. And I am a bit biased here because I love dark roast coffee. So I am I am a bit biased in my rating. I'm giving it a higher rating because I love dark roast. There's more there's more flavor, there's more essence, there's more of a full body flavor to it. Dark roast just tastes better to me. I, I've I've tried light, I've tried medium, I've tried dark. Dark always just kind of gets extracts all the flavors out of the coffee in my opinion. Um, I'm sure James Hoffman will correct me on it, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna say 9.2, because I don't like how they put s'mores on here for, for marketing appeal. You know, you gotta be truthful about what's in your coffee. You gotta be truthful about how your coffee really tastes, you know, so 9.2 because one, I love dark roast. Two, there is really that dark chocolate caramelized taste to it. Three, I just, yeah, I don't know. There is no three, I just love dark roast coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a 9.2 on the scale. How do we want to finish this episode? How are we going to finish this episode off? You now have coronavirus. How do you feel? Complete. Complete? That's good. Thank you so much for watching The Coffee Fetish. Uh, follow me on Instagram at The Coffee Fetish. Stay tuned for more episodes. All my episodes are gonna be involving some type of outdoor crazy aspect, whether it's gonna be in public, whether I might be in some downtown area, I might be at a bridge somewhere, I might be 
I might be on top of a roof, you know? This show really has no real direction besides the fact that I'm gonna be at random places. So maybe you'll run into me one day. Maybe one day you'll see a random guy at a table making a cup of coffee, being a complete idiot and just, you know, testing and just rating coffee. Yeah, you might just run into me one day. So yeah, stay tuned for more and have a nice day. Thank you.